This is a, it's a tropical storm. It is still moving in that northeast direction around nine miles per hour. Uh, David Gonzalez, who's in Baytown, this is going to be the area that we really need to watch uh, for additional flooding. And the reason why storm surge could be between about two to four feet. When you take all this moisture and additional storm surge here across the bay, that's what's going to lift additional rainfall across the area. So we are going to be checking in with him. Some of those low lying areas are going to take additional rain. That's why that flash flood warning is still in effect. Let me zoom on in some of the rainfall rates that we're picking up right now, half an inch or so, maybe six tenths of an inch and in some of the orange that we're seeing. So it is not that that's going to flood. But again, that storm surge that is expected to impact some of those, especially low lying areas we need to watch that over the next couple of hours. So we're talking about all these power outages, 416,000 plus people without power right now. It's because of how wet and saturated the grounds are, the heavy downpours that we're continuing to monitor, but it's also the wind. Wind has been a driving factor overnight for our coastal areas and now inland. So uh, meteorologist Tim Pandagis, I'm going to bring you in, you know, when we're talking about these saturated grounds and still tropical storm force conditions. I mean, a tropical storm is basically sitting Right. over the city. So a really incredible event that's happening right now. So yeah, and the you. strongest of the winds right around that center and that center is about to move through Houston. Now, a lot of the strongest of the winds are being driven to the surface by the heavy rain squalls that for now have lifted north of Houston. So if you're south, southwest of there, the rain is really tapered off, still breezy, but you're going to see the higher gusts in some of those outermost bands lifting northwards. She just mentioned the flash flood warnings. I just want to point out how long they're up for a long duration threat there until nine o'clock. So another three hours. Now, this is a different tool here that we show every now and then to kind of depict where tornadoes are. We can also use it in tropical scenarios here to pinpoint where the winds are strongest and what direction they're moving to see where the center is. Now, the red shading that you're seeing here is all wind moving away from the radar site that you can see out there in League City. This is what the radar is thinking the winds are like above the surface area, 40 to 50 miles per hour. Again, they're being driven to the surface in the heavier rain squalls that drop on through. Rainfall totals estimated by radar around eight inches. However, the weather service just went uh, and released some totals. Galveston, nearly 14 inches of rain so far. Guys.